Hello, doctors. Uh, I know this is already you are nearing the examination time and you guys must be revising. Uh, it's a time for revision. Actually, no more new uh, whatever you study. You just have to revise it. Don't read anything new. But the most important thing is that you have to know thoroughly the last five year questions from my micro microbiological point of view. If you see most of them, the questions might not repeat the same question might not repeat, but the, the topics related topics, you know, usually it, it comes. Example, Vibrio is frequently asked, diphtheria is frequently asked, and if you see sterilization topic is frequently asked, and in parasitology, you know, the dimorphic fungi, it's frequently asked. So in this one, parasite, if you see the eggs are frequently asked, they give the picture of the egg and they'll ask. This is what we have been noticing in last five years. Okay, now what I'll do is that we're going to talk, I'm going to divide this uh, revision section into uh, four parts. Uh, each part will be maximum 40 minutes only, one for virology, bacteriology, parasitology, and then for your mycology, we'll make that with the questions, with the all five years question answer and related topics and the questions which you can expect in the exam. OK, so even if students who are not uh, ready for exam or still feel confused, still feel lazy, I will make this very, very easy for you, not by excess mnemonics and all. I'll make the things very uh, in a funny manner, easy manner that even if you don't have time to revise, you will remember it with whatever the clues I'm giving, okay? But if you have time, please revise as much as possible, okay? So let's start. So the first question is this. Oral hairy leukoplakia is associated with the, uh, which of the following infection? Oral hairy leukoplakia. So I know most of you must be uh, thorough with the answers by this time. So what you guys are thinking? What is the answer? What is the answer? If you're saying Epstein-Barr virus, then you are right. Okay. Epstein-Barr virus is the right answer. Oral hairy leukoplakia is which of the following infection? Epstein-Barr virus. That's right answer. So before going to that, uh, let's a uh, little bit, you know, let, uh, let's revise about Epstein-Barr virus. You know, what are things you should know about Epstein-Barr virus? So when you write about Epstein-Barr virus, one thing, you know, the one thing which I would, this is the shortcut, how you guys have to remember, remember Paul Walker. You know this popular actor, right? I'm sure you guys know this actor because this is uh, Paul Walker, you know, uh, uh, from the uh, Fast and Furious, you know, this is the Paul Walker, okay? So I remember Paul Walker. First of all, let me go. Paul Walker. Paul Walker, but I'm going to read Paul Walker, but you don't remember Paul Walker. I'm going to read Paul Bunnell, okay? I'm going to cut the walker. I'm going to make Paul Bunnell, okay? Now you already know why I tell Paul, okay? So this is the Paul Bunnell. So for, first of all, Paul Bunnell. Paul Bunnell, what he does, he goes to the bar, he goes to the bar, and then he kisses, he kisses someone there. He kisses the girls there, girls there. And then what, what he gets, he, uh, he goes to the bar, and then, okay, Paul Bunnell, he's in horse, okay? Paul Bunnell in horse. He goes to the bar and kisses the girl and get infection. Okay, and he gets infection. Okay, he gets infection. This is a clue. You must already, I know that you guys must have guessed it, what I'm going to talk about. Okay, but still, uh, just remember. So Paul Bernard, he goes to the bar, kisses the girl, and he gets the infection. And of course, because of drinking too much, he was, you know, he was drinking too much. And then what happened? He drinks and then he gets a lot of cancers. He drinks and he gets a lot of cancers. Okay, that's it. This is the clue I'm giving. Okay. So now let's go. Why is it Paul Bunnell? So he goes and gets the girl. He goes to the bar. Why is it bar? First of all, Paul Bunnell. Why is it the Paul? Why did they use the Paul Bunnell? Because that is a test. Which is a specific test? That is the Paul Bunnell. Paul, Paul, I'm sorry, Paul Bunnell is the specific test. If you remember, this is the heterophile antibody test that is specific for your uh, Epstein Barr virus. Because in CMV also you have infective immunonucleus, but there Paul Bunnell test will be negative. Heterophile test is negative. But only in the Epstein Barr virus, that's infectious mononucleosis, you will have it positive. So Paul Bunnell test this is a question can be asked this time. You can you should be ready. And bar why? Because Epstein Barr virus. Okay. E B V. Epstein Barr. B for bar. That's what I remember then. Uh, I kept the name bar. Okay. So Paul goes to bar. Why I use the word horse? Because in Paul Bunnell test, which is the serum used? Horse serum. They might ask. You don't know. You don't know. Okay. So that's what I gave you the clue. Horse serum. See this picture. He's riding on his horse. Why he's riding on his horse? Because in Paul Bunnell test, we are using the horse serum. Horse serum is used against this for the heterophile antibody test. Okay. That's the, that's the eighth point. So bar is bar. Okay, fine. And he kisses a girl and gets infection. Why it's kissing? Because the disease name is, what is the disease name? If you remember, it's called kissing disease. It's called kissing disease. Kissing disease, okay, it's called kissing disease, and otherwise it's called infectious mononucleosis. If you remember, infectious mononucleosis, 
mononucleosis. So one important thing here is infectious mononucleosis is also seen in CMV, but in CMV, Paul bundle will not come. Paul will get only Epstein Barr virus. Remember, Paul will get only Epstein Barr virus. Okay, so kissing disease, not kissing bug again. What is the kissing bug? I'm not going to write here and now. This is for revision type. If you check which is the kissing bug, kissing bug is your Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise or Trypanoma cruzi. Okay, Trypanoma cruzi. Okay, that is basically when you talk, when you talk about kissing bug, that is redovid bug. Redovid bug in parasitology, I'll try to uh, revise that. Redovid bug is the one that is causing Trypanoma cruzi. Okay, that uh, we'll talk about that in the uh, uh, in the parasitology. Okay, just remember, here's one kiss and there is one kiss. Kiss, kiss, two kisses. Okay, one kissing is given by Paul. Of course, he's good in kissing and he gets infectious mononucleosis. And what happened? He drinks in bar. Of course, he drinks and he gets different type of cancer. So what are the cancers he is getting? Okay, if you remember. The question would be asked is which is the most common cancer caused by EBV? The most cancer is gastric carcinoma. Gastric carcinoma. Okay, gastric carcinoma is the most common cancer caused by your Epstein Barr virus. But the most uh, the Epstein Barr virus causes the gastric carcinoma. Now, uh, in Epstein, the most common cancer caused by EBV is gastric carcinoma. But if the question asked, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, which is the most common cause of nasopharyngeal carcinoma, means that is your EBV. Okay, that's the EBV. EBV is the most common cause. But for gastric carcinoma, EBV is, EBV is most common cancer is gastric carcinoma. But overall, if you see, you know, what's the gastric carcinoma most common cause? Your H. pylori. Okay, H. pylori. But EBV is the most common cancer is gastric carcinoma. Okay, this is the link. Don't confuse it. Okay, so this can be question, question. And of course, your oral hairy leukoplica. Look at this picture. Okay, this is a type of benign form, but it's not uh, cancer. Oral hairy leukoplica. Oral hairy leukoplica. Leuko Plakia, okay, oral hairy leukoplakia. And of course, apart from this, apart from the cancers, you know that what is this thing? Example, what is the cell? Reed Steinberg cell, which is characteristic for which cancer? Hodgkin's lymphoma, right? Hodgkin's, Hodge, Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma. So in Hodgkin's lymphoma, this is the uh, Reed Steinberg scene. So Epstein Barr virus causes all type of lymphomas. Not only Hodgkin lymphoma, it also causes non-Hodgkin non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Again, in non-Hodgkin lymphoma, what is the the type is Burkitt's? Okay, Burkitt's, B U R K I T, Burkitt's. Now here, uh, I'm sorry, this picture might be difficult to show. This owl eye bodies. This owl eye bodies. You know, I added this picture because. You have to answer me also. This question can be asked here. But where do you see this owl eye bodies? Can anyone answer me? Where do you see the Paul Paul eye uh, in uh, infection mononucleosis? Uh, we don't see uh, in infection. I mean, uh, if the question comes, the patient has infection mononucleosis, and if they give the picture of this owl eye inclusion body, what would be your answer? Your answer would be CMV. Okay, this is CMV, cytomegalovirus. Where you will see what owl eye, owl eye. Okay, you will see the owl eye bodies. Okay, owl eye bodies. That's it. This is for the uh, your Epstein Barr virus. Very simple. Go with Paul. Think Paul Walker. Go. Think he's going in a house. And then whatever he goes to the bar and he drinks. He kisses a girl. Gets kissing. This is infection mononucleosis. That's what we do. Paul Bunnell test, cetrophilum antibody test. And then what happened? He uh, Epstein Barr virus is popular. It's very well known for the cancers and lymphomas. Cancer the most common cancer. It's causing is gastric carcinoma. But nasopharyngeal carcinoma is the most common cause. The EBV only. And also it causes oral airy leukoplakia, not oral thrush. Oral thrush is caused by your candidiasis. That is again a mycology topic. Okay. But here, oral hairy leukoplakia is for your uh, Epstein Barr virus. And then, uh, apart from that, what in uh, Paul, because he's driving a horse, so in uh, Paul Bunnell test, we are using the uh, horse serum. Paul, heterophile test, example, another heterophile test commonly asked question is what? Will Felix. If you remember, Will Felix, we are doing for what? Rickettsia. Okay. We are using Proteus antigen. Same way here for Epstein virus, we are using the horse serum. That's that's the link here. Okay. Right. Now, what happened? Look at this question. So, here, definitely not oral hair look but what do you think about CMV? CMV is the one which what? It also causes infectious mononucleosis, but what it has a owl eye inclusion bodies. Okay. We will talk about that now. Okay. Now, rest HPV and HSV one is not related. So, you can easily omit it. Okay. Now, Let's go to in uh so because see we are talking about the um, uh, Epstein virus. Epstein virus virus is a type of herpes virus only, right? So now we have to know few of the uh what are the HHV things we have to know. What are the things are important? Okay. Now see when you talk about herpes. HHV is a human herpes virus, okay? This is basically human herpes virus. Human herpes virus, right? Human herpes virus. So in human herpes virus, we have different types, okay? HHV 1 and HHV 2. You, you're going to answer me now. HHV 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, we have many types. Okay, seven uh, and eight. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So let's discuss each thing now. Okay, because the questions can be asked because you are in these are the DNA virus. In DNA viruses, if you remember the DNA virus, if you remember the if you remember the DNA virus, I'm going to write it here. If you remember, sorry. Uh, if you remember the DNA viruses, I just wanted to uh, need a uh, different place, but it's okay. If you remember DNA virus, what is the shortcut for a DNA virus? DNA virus, the shortcut is what? Happy. H, H, A, P, 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 Y, right? So H for herpes. So this is the one we're talking now. So in herpes, may we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is other one is this is hep, uh, hepatitis B, hepatitis HBV virus, and here for adenovirus, P for parvo, other P for pox, others papilloma. We'll discuss these questions. We have important questions. Now they can ask any of this. They can ask human herpes virus one is which one? One is basically your herpes simplex virus one, HSV one. HSV one, kya disease cause karta hai? You see, see this picture and tell me this is cause herpes. This is the what is this? This is your uh, labialis, herpes labialis, right? Okay, this is your herpes labialis. So herpes labialis. So this is basically herpes labialis. Herpes labialis in the uh, in the vesicles in your mouth. Okay, herpes labialis. And this is your dendritic ulcer. Dendritic ulcer. Dendritic ulcer. Ye pura konse disease cause karta hai? Herpes simplex virus one. This is causing. That's what I brought this picture. This time you can expect this question. They can give you this picture and tell this cause. Not only that, not only herpes labialis and the dendritic ulcer, it causes what? Uh, gl gladiodorm. Herpetic gladiodorm. Gladiodorm is for bristlers while the bristling they have around the chest because of wrestling, herpes simplex one. And also it causes what? Herpetic whitlow. When, it, when you have uh, this herpes rash on the fingers, okay, herpetic whitlow, okay? That can be a rare question, but you have to know. These are common things. But what about HHV2? HHV2 is basically HSV2, herpes simplex virus 2. Herpes simplex virus 2, basically what does it causes? You know that. You must be knowing by this time. Herpes simplex is basically causing what? Vesicles, right? HSV2, basically it causes the vesicles. So, what are the vesicles? So HSV2, uh, HSV2 is basically what? HSV2 is basically the, it causes what? Your, it's a STD. It causes a STD, painful vesicle, painful vesicle. It's basically cause a painful ulcer or vesicle. Painful ulcer causing vesicles, if you remember. Syphilis is painless. We will talk in the bacteria. Syphilis is painless ulcer. But if a patient comes with the, uh, the most common STD ulcer, which is painful is herpes. That is HSV2 is the most common one. Okay, right? But then uh, that's what it, it reminds in your uh, where? Sacral ganglion. Sex, STD, sacral ganglion is your two. S for two. Okay, these are all are the common features of HSV2. Painful ulcer in your genital region. Okay, STD disease. Okay, now uh, what is this? This picture may be asked. They can give you the patient had this genital ulcer. It was very painful. And on a sang smear, on a sang smear, on the sang smear, this was seen. What is this? This is the multinucleated giant cell multinucleated giant cell amboldia so you can have this question so kiska multinucleated giant cell ata hai any herpes specifically we are talking about herp hhv2 herpes simplex virus 2 but in any herpes virus you can have mngc okay multinucleated giant cell so this picture comes please remember this is a multinucleated giant cell and the smear ka naam hai sang smear the smear ka naam hai sang smear okay sang smear so this is common hsv2 if they try to identify you can find it okay and the herpes virus simplex 2 ka common location is sacral ganglion hsv1 ka where is where it located you should in your one one remains in which one in the Trigeminal, so it is in the trigeminal ganglion, trigeminal ganglion, and this is in the sacral ganglion, and from there it causes type three. Uh, one, two, three, three, easy ho gaya. What about three? Three is basically what varicella zoster, varicella zoster. Uska kaise yad karna? V Z varicella zoster virus. V Z V Z me dekho three, three hai. One, two, three. So three ho gaya. Varicella zoster. Okay, varicella zoster. Ye hi apko varicella zoster. This is your varicella zoster. The varicella zoster ka primary is called what? Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Okay, this is chicken pox. Basically, chicken pox, what do you say the rash? Centripetal rash, but pleomorphic. Different, different types of rash. Centripetal face may start, okay, pura body spread. These two words are important. Centripetal and pleomorphic rash. The word is very important. Ka chicken pox may. Which one is causing? Varicella zoster virus, number one point. Okay, and then uh, what is the infective period? Yeah, varicella zoster, the infective period is frequently asked question. When uh, uh, chicken pox ho gaya, to uska infective period ka, in, infective period should be when? When will be the infective period? When will be the infective period? You should know the infective period. So infective period is usually ka, two days before the rash and five days after the rash. Five days after the rash. Please remember this. Two days before the rash, 
फाइव डेज आफ्टर द रैश दैट्स द क्वेश्चन ओके देखे नाज मीजल्स में क्या होगा फोर डेज एंड फाइव डेज मीजल्स में यूल फोर डेज फाइव डेज चिकन पॉक्स में यूल हैव टू डेज एंड फाइव डेज टू एंड फाइव रिमेम्बर टू एंड फाइव ओके and that's one thing and what is this picture they can give you this picture and tell to identify this is called congenital this also chicken pox this is congenital what do you call congenital varicella syndrome congenital varicella syndrome this is called congenital this everything we are talking now is for the chicken pox this is separate one varicella with hhv3 we are talking okay this is a varicella zoster virus we are talking congenital congenital what congenital varicella congenital varicella syndrome Varicella syndrome. इसमें क्या है लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेस यू सी बच्चे को लिम्ब नहीं है ओके एल एल आई एम बी लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेस लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेस लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेस मतलब उसका फूट एंड देखो दो दोनों आर्म्स अपर आर्म लोअर आर्म दोनों को ग्रोथ नहीं है दैट्स व्हाट लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेसिया लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेसिया सीन इन विच री सब क्वेश्चन आ सकता है लिम्ब हाइपोप्लेसिया इज सीन इन दी वैरिसला जोस्टर सिंड्रोम वैरिसला जोस्टर सिंड्रोम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वन थिंग आल्सो एक और बच्चे को कॉमन करते सिकास्ट्रिकल स्किन उसको बोलते सिकास्ट्रिकल स्किन सी सी फॉर कंजेनिटल सिकास्ट्रिक चिकन पॉक्स यू नो बोल से कास्ट्रिकल सिकास्ट्रिकल स्किन उसका कुछ नहीं इट इज बेसिकली स्कार्ड स्किन I didn't give the picture, but ये पूरा कंजर वैसे में पिक्चर्स में आ सकता है. And see, unilateral rash. If they give unilateral rashes like this picture, and as they identify, the patient has severe pain with vesicular rash on one side. The picture comes. This is shingles. Shingles is basically क्या है? Adult chickenpox. Adult को when the virus of the zoster get react, ये पूरा बच्चे को आता है. But adult को reactivate हो जाएगा तो then you get the shingles. Remember that. That's also a question. So shingles unilateral right तो ये आ ये आना है. Okay. And then one more thing important is that जो What is the vaccine for chicken pox? OK vaccine. OK chicken. कोई भी chicken करते क्या बोलते हैं? OK. कोई भी chicken करता है. They will say what? OK. OK. They will say OK. OK strain. OK strain is the vaccine for chicken pox. This is the vaccine for chicken pox. Okay. For various other zoster chicken pox name is OK. When you eat chicken, you say OK. OK. You understand? That's it. Okay. Remember that way. Okay. Okay. Now this is the important questions they can ask. And one more thing. Ah. When uh, pregnancy में when there is a chance of getting congenital varicella syndrome means उसका ज़्यादा सोचने को ज़रूरत नहीं है मैंने already एक बोल दिया था what did I say I told you already uh, infective period is two days five days ये congenital varicella syndrome when the pregnant lady का when she gets the chicken pox between five day five day before delivery or two days after delivery five days two days okay after delivery five day before delivery or two day after delivery देखो उल्टा Two five either, or five two either. So two five five two, two five five two. A B question आता है. It can be a gynae question. So please remember when your uh, when will be infective means when the before five days before delivery, two days after delivery, pregnant lady को chicken pox आ गया तो बच्चे को congenital congenital varicella syndrome आता है. बच्चे को limb hypoplasia हो गया question. Cicatrical skin भी हो सकता है. See I finished. Okay I finished all the thing. Okay now I I'm finishing third one. So I finished almost. I'm going to finish all the herpes. It's very important because herpes is commonly asked question. फोर फोर में क्या है एप्सटेन बार वायरस एच एस बी फोर को दूसरा नंबर एक क्यों कैसे याद करना मैंने बोला था बार क्या पॉल वॉकर कहा था बार जाता है बट बार का स्पेलिंग का बी ए आर आर बार एप्सटेन बार एप्सटेन बार का पूरा नाम बी ए आर आर सो चार लेटर हो गया सो एच एच बी फोर हो गया ओके चार लेटर हो गया एच ए फोर हो गया फाइव को कैसे याद करोगी फाइव को हाउ टू रिमेम्बर द फाइव द फाइव को कैसे याद करोगी फाइव देखो एक ना फाइव तो देखो ऐसे सी जैसा है ना सी जैसा है या ओके फाइव ऐसे सी लाइक दिस सी सो ए सी ऐसे का इसे ऐसे कर दो सी सो क्या हो जाएगा सी एम बी सी एम बी इज नंबर फाइव सी एम बी इज नंबर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन का दूसरा नाम है आई विल द डिसीज कम्स आई टेल यू सी सिक्स और सेवन यस यस में स्टार्ट कर सिक्स एंड सेवन राइट सेवन ये दोनों का डिसीज का नाम क्या है रोसियोला रोसियोला ओके यस आ गया ओके रोस Rose, Rose, Roseola, Roseola in phantom. We I'll talk about that. The space is a little bit too big. And eight causes what? Kaposi sarcoma. Okay, HHV eight. Let me write it here somewhere. Uh, maybe in the uh, uh, in the back. Okay, we'll uh, the space was a problem. Okay, don't worry. HHV uh, even HHV eight. तो आपको याद आना चाहिए. Even without uh, explaining me, you must be knowing HHV. तो क्या कस करता है? It causes the which one? Which disease? You know very well. That's your Kaposi sarcoma. Okay, Kaposi. Kaposi. Eight causes the Kaposi sarcoma. I write it here. Eight causes Kaposi. Kaposi. Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma. Okay, Kaposi sarcoma, which in HIV is most common tumor. It's a vascular tumor. Okay, eight. को कैसे करोगे? A eight को K को ऐसे करो. Eight हो जाएगा. Okay, K. This is Kaposi. K को ऐसे करेगा तो it becomes eight. 
Kaposi, right? Finished. So we have finished almost. Okay. Herpes ka briefly we have done. Now next one. Now see this where this question is interesting. Even see without re reading the question only, I will guess. What you, what you will guess this picture here, they have given so many things. They have given, uh, you read, if you read the question, they say that OPD, a 12 year old boy, OPD fever, ear pain, difficulty in swallowing. And then on examination, there was a testicular swelling and this jaw also swollen. Okay. So what is this? So I, I see the parotid swelling is here. I see there is a parotid swelling, bilateral hota hai. If you see both the side is swollen, okay? Both the side is swollen and test is also swollen. So what is this? Anything swollen, usually test is unilateral swelling hota hai. Okay, when anything swollen, anything big swollen, that is what? That is, I call him Jerry. Jerry is the guy where everything is big for him. Jerry got everything big, big, big. You know, anything bumpy, jumpy, I call Jerry. Okay, bumpy, jumpy. Any, uh, any, any bumpy, mumpy, you know, whatever. I already gave you a clue. Okay, that is your mums. Okay, he's very uh, bumpy, mumpy. He's very bumpy, everything big, big and mumpy, mumpy. Okay, bumpy, mumpy. Anything big, big, that is your uh, mums. Okay, mums ka question asa ta hai, so you have to remember that. That's it. It's not croup, not infection, it's not hairpin. Hair, you know, croup is caused by which one? If you remember, which one? Para-influenza. It's caused by para-influenza virus group that is uh, acute laryngotracheal bronchitis. What happens in that? Steeple sign. One sign is what is steeple sign. If you remember, you have to say that you have to say that you have to steeple sign. X-ray may they will give you and they'll, you, it's easy. Okay. It is otherwise called laryngotracheal bronchitis group. Ka. Infectious mononucleosis. Infectious mononucleosis, just we talk. Let's say Epstein-Barr virus. Ho gaya. Okay. Banal, kya tha? Paul, kya kya tha? Paul, he goes to the bar and he gets infection by kissing a girl. Okay. He getting infection, infectious mononucleosis. Hairpine China, tricky. If you remember, Coxsackie, it's a Coxsackie A virus because yamper de ko A hai. So it is Coxsackie A virus. Coxsackie A causes the hairpine China virus. Ho gaya. Coxsackie A and B via A is cause hairpine China. Both causes aseptic meningitis, but important is A causes uh, this one, hairpine China. Also, it causes other things, hemorrhagic um, conjunctivitis also. And B causes one disease, B for Coxsackie B causes born holum. If you remember, born holum or devil. Devil is bad. B for bad. Devil is bad. And A causes flaccid paralysis. A, the Coxsackie A causes the what it causes the it causes the set uh, it causes past uh, it causes the flaccid paralysis but b causes the spastic paralysis okay we have a clue for that also in my previous uh lecture i've uh, gone so now we are revision class so i you know i'm just going with the important important points here so here may mom's ko jerry kyu bola uska vaccine ka mom's ka vaccine naam hai gerilin that's the idea gerilin i want to stress on this that's what i brought it here gerilin strain okay got it that's all mom ka kya hota hai mom means jerry jerry ka sab bumpy humpy hota hai bilateral parotid swelling hota hai unilateral testis swelling hota hai okay then then you get this rash okay that's it okay this is the thing you have to remember i'm sure you guys can do it so why uh, i made the space here uh okay well let me come to this bit later because we have to uh, finish many topics you know so if there's time we will discuss but first we'll finish all the questions in the virology so now ssb uh, uh, sspe subacute sclerosing panel encephalitis this is you must know these days they're asking this frequently i don't know why this is basically a complication of it's related to brine brine is sclerosis hota hai. after which infection measles okay after measles the measles is the right answer okay measles is the right answer now uh, before that, uh, measles is the right answer. Now you have to know a little bit about measles. Let's talk about the measles. Before going to measles, let me talk a little bit about the uh, mixoviruses. Okay, uh, what is a mixovirus? See, basically, when you talk about the mixovirus, we have two. What are the two mixoviruses? We have. Okay, we have. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So uh, when you talk about the mixoviruses, we have two viruses. What are they? So. Ortho mixovirus, we have ortho mixo and then para mixo. Para mixo virus, right? Ortho mixo. Ortho mixo virus, only one influenza. Influenza is the only virus here. Influenza, ho gaya. Influenza kisko hata? Ortho guys. Ortho guys, sare ortho ladkon ko, ortho doctors ko kya hata? Flu hata hai. Okay, remember that. Oh, chod do. Phir abhi para influenza mein, para influenza, para mixo virus mein only, you'll have a lot of important things. Kya kya hai? Ek measles, ek mumps, just we finished. Measles, mumps, respiratory sexual virus, parainfluenza virus, parainfluenza, even your nifa hunter also will come here. Nifa hunter, they not ask much, not that important. But measles, mumps is very important and RSV, parainfluenza, sometimes they can ask. Yampa rubella nahi hai. Rubella will not come here. Rubella is separate group. Rubella is, a, rubella will not come in the paramixo. Rubella comes in which group? Toga. Toga virus. Remember? Rubella will come in the toga virus, toga virus group. Okay. Now, one more thing important here is the incubation period. You should know of the measles ka, uh, because let's uh, read in a comparative manner so it'd be easy so this is measles 
mumps, rubella. Individual incubation period is very important and their vaccine names are also important. Okay, incubation period and their vaccine. Let's talk about it. Okay, this is separate part. Okay, separate part. Now, what are the important things you should know here? So when you want to go, what is incubation period if you want to know? For measles, incubation period is 10. Let's start 10. 10 out of 10. Measles get 10 out of 10. Okay, and mums ka kya kare? Mums is everything big. So bada kar do. Mums everything is big. Wo, wo ka nine kar do. 19 days. Okay, 10 days, 19 days. Rubella ko thoda kam karo. 14 days. Bas, 14 days. Okay, and vaccine ko measles, uh, measles, measles ka kya pata? Edmonston. Edmonston, M hai. Ed, Edmonston hai. Because ye ka mums to you will never forget. Jerry ka sab bada hai. Jerry ka testis bada hai. Parotid bada hai. So Jerry, mums, oh confusion nahi aega. Jerry Lynn. Edmonston. Jagri bolte hai. Edmondson, Jagrib. Jagrib kaise raga? Garib hai na? Garib. Garib logon ko kya vaccine dena hai? Garib ko measles vaccine dena hai. Garib ko measles vaccine dena hai. Okay. Jeril ko Jeril Lynn strain po mums ho gaya. Rubella is very easy. Rubella naam mein hai. R for R. R A 27 bar 3. R A 27 bar 3 is the vaccination. Okay. This you have to remember. Okay. One thing. Now let's go to measles itself. Abhi measles ko jane ka pehle. Let's see uh, other important things in measles. What are things they can ask in the measles? So you have to know. There is no other option. First of all, before going to the picture, measles ka incubation period you already told 10 days. Now clinical pictures mein kaise aata hai? The, you know clinical symptoms start the 10th day. Fir 12th day. Fir, fir kaun se day? 14th day. Aise aata hai. 10th day mein you will have 3 C's. What are the, with fever there will be 3 C's. Kya kya hai? The C's, 3 C's for cough, conjunctivitis, cough, conjunctivitis, Cough ho gaya, conjunctivitis ho gaya, and coriza. Coriza is a cold, you know, rhinitis and everything. Twelfth day may important thing. What do you see? Coplic spot. That's what I want to stress. Coplic spot will come on twelfth day. Article they can ask anything. Coplic spot is characteristic for your measles. Don't forget. Except for shimmer spot, a for shimmer spot is for your rubella. Coplic spot is for your measles. Konse location mein? That was the question. Zada confusion karne ka zarurat nahi hai. How you remember? L for low, lower molar, lower molar. M for measles, molar. Bus. That's it. Lower, it's close to the lesion will be close to second lower molar, but uh, they don't have second and all. If you, you remember lower molar, that's it, lower molar. Mein aata hai. 14th day, mein you'll have rash. What is the rash? This is the rash. This is the rash. You see, this is centrifugal rash, and here the rashes are not pleomorphic. Same rash at every time. You see, same typical rash. Chicken pox may be pleomorphic, different variety of rashes. Ek time mein aata hai. But measles, mein, the rashes will be same. And it's centrifugal. Starts from periphery and comes to the trunk and the whole center part of the body. Got it? Okay. Now, one important finding is this one. Here also, multinuclear giant cell. Its name is what do you call this as? What do you call this as? This is called Vartin Fin Kidley. Vartin Fin Kidley cells. Vartin Fin Kidley Tests, winkly cells. Okay. So it's a start of multinucleated giant cells or multinucleated giant cells. Okay, don't forget. Copric spot or warthin finkinly cells are important point in your measles. Everything is important. And for further complication, we talk about it. SSP. Like SSP, there is something called PMLE. Yeah, kya hai? PMLE kahan se aagya? Last day as SSP. So there is chance that they can ask PMLE. PMLE is nothing but progressive multi-leukoencephalopathy. Okay, this is basically progressive. Multi progressive multiple multiple leuco encephalopathy encephalopathy leuco encephalopathy cast by kiska kiska what that in us there is famous shop called jc pennies jc pennies is such a nice shopping complex girls go crazy and the girls go crazy crazy okay uska kya aata hai? they'll get shopping me so they buy everything and they go crazy and they get pmle they get PMLE. They get progressive multilocal encephalopathy. But JC Penny is PMLE. Okay. JC virus. Okay. Hogya? That's it. This is for measles. So measles okay, mumps okay. Rubella may only one thing I was I was stressing what rubella in rubella may though it is it comes under toga. First of all, rubella is a toga virus group. Man already bold. It's toga, it's not under the paramyxome. <coughs> okay. And then another thing is what? Uh, rubella may that spot's name is for shimmer. For shima spot, for shima spot hai. Or rubella congenital syndrome. Rubella congenital syndrome mein, aapka kya hata hai? CCD. Rubella congenital syndrome mein aagaya toh, CCD mein jau. CCD mein kya mil jayega? Ek cataract. Dousra C is for cardiac. Cardiac mein kya hata hai? Most common lesion is PDA. If you remember PDA, pattern ductus arteriosus is the most common lesion in the, sorry, PDA. Okay, pattern ductus in rubella. And D for deafness. D for deafness. Bas.
ये हो गया ओके सो दीज आर द कॉमन थिंग्स फॉर रुबेला ओके एंड पीएसबी आपने बोल दिया ऑलरेडी आई टॉक्ड अबाउट इट एंड द रेस्पिरेटरी इंसेक्टिव वायरल कॉज अक्यूट ब्रोंकियोलाइटिस ओके अक्यूट ब्रोंकियोलाइटिस ओके दैट इज आल्सो वन क्वेश्चन यू कैन रिमेंबर ओके राइट नाउ लेट्स गो इट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन सो दिस इज दिस इज द स्टीपल्स एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू स्टीपल्स एंड दिस इज योर व्हिच वन योर दिस इज योर पैरेंट इन्फ्लुएंसा पैरेंट इन्फ्लुएंसा व्हिच कॉजेस द Croup, parent influence or croup, which causes the steeple sign. Okay, steeple sign. That's what I'm. I'm. I'm just bringing that one. Okay, that's if you see here, it looks like a steeple. Okay, right. That's what I want to stress. Okay, that's all. Uh, and then uh, next we are going to, excuse me. Yeah, next one, next one, next one. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, condyloma acuminata uh, is most commonly caused by. You should know by by this condyloma acuminata. You must be knowing which one condyloma acuminata is. Condyloma acuminata is basically a genital wart. It's common as a genital wart. It's like a wart. So it's caused by which one? Six and eleven is the right answer. Six and eleven is the right answer. Okay. So little bit. Let's discuss about this HPV. So here, if you see this, you you're going to tell me about all the different. Uh, you're going to talk. You are going to answer me about the. Common what? Which which one? Which HPV is causing individual human papilloma virus? Again, if you remember, this is a DNA virus. Okay, if you remember, we talked about happy happy virus. Me, it comes under H A P P P three P. Me, eight P is human papilloma virus. Okay, so that is six and eleven. Now, what are these things they causing? Common what? Common what is caused by common what? Sorry, common what is caused by which one is causing the common what? Is usually caused by HPV. Common what is caused by common what is caused by common what is caused by? Oh, I'm sorry. so one second yeah ha huh. common what is caused by vv hai na dekho do v okay 1 2 3 4 vv so 4 hpv 4 it's caused by hpv 4 tree man or tree man syndrome ko dusra hai epidermodysplasia veru verusiformis verusiformis usually they ask tree man or epidermodysplasia verusiformis aise question aayega to e e e sare e e so kya ho gaya aapko 5 and 8 Five and eight, HPV five and HPV eight is the one causing. Question, question. Okay, question, question. Not much else, but they can ask. Treatment syndrome. Ask. See, this is a treatment syndrome. This is a treatment syndrome. This is a common watch. Common watch. You're seeing here. This is the condyloma acuminata, the genital watch, the genital watch which we talk now. Okay. So this condyloma acuminata or laryngeal papilloma, though no common. Which one? Your six and eleven. Six and eleven. Okay, six and eleven. So you can remember like uh, how we want to remember. This is the condyloma community is basically sexual what sex six all are same sex six or same. Okay, laryngeal papilloma, anogenital what six and eleven commonly asked question very frequently you can expect this question. Butchers what how to remember? They few time they ask long time they didn't ask maybe they can ask. Butchers क्या करता है? Butchers butchers they cut the chicken no cut and chicken mutton कैसे? They cut it with the axe. Axe how it looks like this. So it is number seven. Number seven, HPV seven, HPV seven, and cervical cancer. You know, it is caused by HPV sixteen, eighteen. You have to you have to memorize thirty one and thirty three. That's it, right? And one more important thing these these days they are asking is the the uh, they are asking is HPV E six and E seven has important role in the cancer. What they do? E six it usually inhibits the or stops the activity of your P fifty three. This is a uh, this is uh, it inhibits the cancer, but now it inhibits P three. That's what we have cancer. And E six क्या कास करता है? It inhibits the R R B retinoblastoma. These are good ones. They protect the genes. So our body means this. This is the reason the uh, HPV is because of this E six and E seven. They they inhibit P fifty three and R B and causes cancer in a, a cervical cancer in a body. And the vaccines, you know, Cervarix and uh, Cervarix is number one. Another one is Gardasil. Okay, Cervarix is for only two. Gardasil is for quadrivalent. Cervarix only sixteen and eighteen. Gardasil is for sixteen, eighteen, thirty-one, thirty-three. That you must be marking by this time. You must be knowing. But please stress it. Okay. It's not so gaineous. I'm sure they would have thought about that. Okay. Now next, go to the next next question. This is very easy and very nice one. So just only see the picture. Don't do anything by picture only. You will be like getting the idea. What is this? Okay. What do you think? What is the what is shown in this picture? A cute baby smiling. It has rash on his cheek. When there's rash on the cheek, see, there's a three-year-old boy, erythematous rash on the cheek. When there's erythematous rash on the cheek, it can be anything. It can be erythema infectiosum, it can be exanthema subitum, it can be a rubella, anything. But the baby has also fever, headache, etc., mild respiratory infection. It's not specific. One clue is single standard DNA is the clue. Single standard DNA is the clue. So you must be knowing. Of all the DNA viruses, happy virus may. All DNA virus among DNA viruses, we have what H H A P P P Y. All are double standard. All are double standard except 
pari except pari paru pari or pari whatever parvo parvo is what it is the single paru is single paru is single paru is single okay only paru is single rest all are double okay ek in rna virus which rna virus are usually single standard except kon hai usme rio virus rio rio bird hai na rio bird rio bird ka do hai like ye rio bird i'll, I'll if this is a rio bird ये ब्यूटीफुल रियो बर्ड अफ्रीका में है उसके क्या है दो हॉन है ठीक है दो हॉन है पारू इज सिंगल पारू कोई भी पारू रिमेम्बर इवन देवदास का ऐश्वर्या वाज सिंगल बट आई रिमेम्बर छोटी पारी स्मॉल पारी आई शो यू सम पिक्चर इन अ व्हाइल ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली पारवो सो पारवो का कौन सा डिसीज करता है पारवो इज कासिंग द फिफ्थ डे डिसीज आई विल टेल यू दैट आई विल गिव द क्लू दिस इज बेसिकली एथम इंफेक्शियोसम ओके नाउ वी विल कम टू द पॉइंट्स हाउ टू रिमेम्बर सी दिस इज माय दिस इज दिस ब्यूटीफुल दिस इज द ब्यूटीफुल व्हाट दिस इज अ छोटी छोटी who is that pari okay this is a paru paru is small girl she is small bahut choti hai because the smallest virus smallest virus smallest virus biggest one is which one your pox pox is the biggest one smallest is your paru smallest virus number 1 number 2 she is single ye bhi single hai dekho usko ponytail bhi dekho single hai single ponytail sare sab kuch uska single single if you forget also okay paru is single always frustrated so frustration ka wajah se kya karti hai bachche ko she is always frustrated uh she is always frustrated i'm sorry yeah okay this is the choti paru i'm sorry i have to go back ha huh. yeah okay so this is the choti paru small paru this paru paru small paru she is always single she is always frustrated so she what she slaps she slaps the babies with five fingers फाइव फिंगर का निशान देखो फाइव फिंगर का निशान देखो देखो इस बच्चे वो स्माइल कर रहे बेचारी बट उन्होंने पांच उंगली से मार देती है ओके इट द फाइव फिंगर्स ये पूरा आपको क्लू आ गया स्मॉल पोगो बिकॉज़ दिस इज द स्मॉलेस्ट वायरस व्हिच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट वायरस योर पर्वो पर्वो इज द स्मॉलेस्ट वायरस पर्वो इज द पर्वो वायरस इज द स्मॉलेस्ट वायरस नंबर 1 हो गया एंड दिस इज द ओनली सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए वायरस सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए वायरस ओनली सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए वायरस ओनली सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड स्लैप्स बेबी बिकॉज़ वो बच्चे को विद द वन व्हिच वी सॉ क्या था बच्चे को slapped cheek appearance that is actually slapped cheek appearance the bachche had slapped cheek appearance why i say five ungli because this disease ka dursan mein fifth day disease fifth day disease uska fifth day disease other name is erythema in pectiosum in pectiosum hef hef aa gaya hef is basically what hef is your fifth day disease fifth day disease so fifth day or whatever it is it is what it is your parvo virus that's what i stress this okay he slapped the baby a choti pari single choti pari small single slaps the baby frustration ka wajah se so panch ungli aata fifth day disease and that's what infection is so but ye is bar this question came but next time in coming 2023 they might give you this question identify the virus okay kaun se kaise are this pari our paru sirf ye nahi cause karti pari not only causes the uh, ye slap cheek appearance baby she can cause what hydrops fetalis but non immunogenic non immunogenic non immunogenic hydrops fetalis hydrops fetalis usually hydrops fetalis okay non immunogenic hydrops fetalis okay usually immunogenic cause karta rh compa incompatibility you know that one but here it is non immune hydrops fetalis okay this can cause so this is a question this is a question they can ask okay and also one more thing what is your the ek to a first disease hai this is your second hydrophytalis dusra it causes aplastic anemia aplastic anemia aplastic anemia it affects the um, it affects the rbcs antigen case antigen against this and then aplastic anemia uh, a anemia okay aplastic anemia okay this is the important features of the parvovirus so parvovirus you can expect all these things okay now listen so a ho gaya but what about if suppose next time they give you scarlet fever scarlet fever is caused by a uh, bacteria which one is that streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus pyogenes you got it streptococcus pyogenes erythem infectious we just spoke it is your parvo this is the answer to this one parvo right exanthema subito this is one i want to discuss erythem subito yes sir so what i told you hhv 6 and 7 hhv 6 and 7 kya cause karta hai rosiola rosiola wo bachche ko bhi same the bachche also will have rash like this rosiola like this this is okay rosiola or it's called subitum dono same same here rosiola infantum rosiola infantum 
or erythema subitum. This is important. That's what I want to stress. Okay. Rubiola is other name for your measles. So I don't, we don't have to talk about it. Measles ka dusranam rubiola. Okay. That's it. Rubella ka dusranam German measles. Ulta ulta. Measles ka, we call this rubiola. Not rubella, rubiola. Okay. Got it? Finished. Yeah, this is for your thing. Now, ha. Now we've done with this. Now, yeah. Now molluscum contagio. I'm sorry. One second. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's go with the molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum contagiosum. Yes. Molluscum contagiosum is caused by everybody must be knowing the answer is what? The answer is, answer is which one? Answer is your? Answer is, I'm sorry. Huh. The answer is what? The answer is basically pox virus. Okay. So remember, how to remember for uh, molluscum contagiosum? Who is this? This is a Parker. Peter Parker. Remember Peter, okay? Peter, but don't forget, don't uh, don't forget the Parker. Remember only the Peter, okay? Your Spider Man, Spider Man guy. So Spider Man guy, ka, you know, uh, everything, you know, he's a Spider Man. No, he's a spider. So kuch cheesy cheesy to kuch aata hai na? Something cheesy cheesy which makes everything, uh, you know, everything to make the web cheesy cheesy aata hai. So uska usi se kya aata hai? He gets some cheesy material from his umbilicus. Umbilicus se ek cheesy material aata hai. Something cheesy comes out of his umbilicus. Number one. Number two, from umbilicus se aata hai. And then, uh, it, uh, he, uh, and, and, and one more thing. What happened? He lives in the, he lives in the box. He lives in the box. That means pox, pox virus. Okay. He lives in the box, pox. And, and, okay, pox. This, remember, this is enough. This is more than enough. Okay. Cheesy umbilicus mene kyu bola tha? Because, in umbilicated lesion, see, this is the umbilicated lesion with cheesy material. That's the answer. Umbilicated, usually up to exam, this umbilicated lesion with cheesy material. As a question, I got to anything cheesy, umbilicus, I got to that is your spider man. Spider man's umbilicus, something cheesy material, okay? He gets what? The web. Web ajata. You remember like that. Something cheesy comes and it makes a web. Not the cheesy discharge in the in the very of cheesy the candidiasis. Vaginal candidiasis also some cheesy discharge. Cheesy or curdy discharge. Ek either re, umbilicated cheesy material kya hai? It's your Peter Parker. Peter Parker, many few Peter Peter bola. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Peter is because there's a body called HP body. Henderson Peterson. Henderson. Peterson, Henderson, Peterson. This is the one I want to stress. Henderson, Peterson. A confused ho jata. Ek or HP hai. Halbuster pravasa ki. Halbuster pravasa ki chlamydia mein aata hai. Trachoma mein aata hai. In trachoma, halbuster pravasa. Russian naam hai chlamydia. Wo alag hai. India mein what? Henderson, Peterson. Not India. Of course, I mean, it's common here, of course. Henderson, Peterson. It comes here. So, Peter. Peter aage na. Because uske liye I'm, I'm see you always confused. Paul hai to Epstein Barbe's kiss, horse, kiss, bar, Paul Bunnell. Peter, cheesy, umbilicus, pox. Pox ka dusra box, many box, pox, kyu bola? Because it is, because it is, it is, I'm sorry, I'm coming here. Huh. Because it is Peter ka, why I say Peter, Peter? Peter itek ho gaya, and box, okay, because the pox virus is the, pox virus is the, which virus is the biggest virus? Don't forget, your pox virus is the biggest virus. This is the biggest virus. Smallest to parvo ho gaya, the biggest, but this is also DNA virus, the biggest virus number one. And uska shape kya hai? Brick shape. Mene box kyu bola? Bricks to box ka jaysa hai na? Brick shape. Ye dono question hai. Which is the brick shaped virus? And it's a brick jaysa hota hai? And which is the biggest virus? Dono pox hai. Pox kis ka hata hai? Peter ko. Kya hata hai? Umbilicated lesion with cheesy material. Okay, that's it. Phir pox mein do hai. Phir remember, vaccine ya. Ek vaccine ya hai. Dousra hai variola. Is mein the, they ask the bodies. Vaccine mein koon se body dekho ki? Vaccine kis ko dena hai? Gauri. Gauri likes to take a vaccine. Gaurnary. Gauri, gaurnary. Gaurnary bodies hai. This can be a question. Gaurnary bodies. Don't forget. Gauri ka gauri vaccine hai. These are pox virus. Ola. Ola aajkal kese ho gaya? Fashion ho gaya. Fashion ola. Ola aajkal ola logo ka dekh lo. Ola driver ka dekh lo. He's very fashionable. Right? Fashionable. So, passion, fashion. Passion body. Passion body a gaya. Passion body aapko fashion mein a gaya. Ek or Ek or pox, if you remember, one more pox is there. We are, we are not going to miss that pox also because that's also important. Konse pox hai, that is that is your foul pox. Uh, I'm going to write it somewhere here. Foul pox, right? Foul pox. Foul pox ka, what is the body you see? Bollinger, Bollinger bodies, Bollinger bodies, Bollinger bodies. Don't forget. I'm trying to repeat everything so that you know you will be virology is done now. Revision is done. Bollinger kya bolte? Foul ball, foul ball, foul ball. Koi bhi football mein kya bolte? Ball, foul karte na? 
सो फाउल बॉल फाउल बॉल बॉलिंगर बॉडीज वैक्सीनिया गौरनी गौरी का क्या देना गौरी नीड्स वैक्सीनिया वैक्सीन वैक्सीन लेना है वैक्सीनिया वैरियोला इज ओला इज अ फैशनेबल ओरन सो फैशन बॉडीज सो दीज आर द फ्रीक्वेंटली अस्क क्वेश्चन एंड हेंडरसन पीटरसन बॉडी इटसेल्फ इज फॉर द पॉक्स सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चंस दे कैन आस्क दैट्स इट दिस मच ओनली सो ऑलमोस्ट यू कंप्लीटेड यू नो एवरीथिंग नाउ ओके सो वायरोलॉजी में दीज आर द थिंग्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड एंड रिपीटेड सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चंस सो दीज आर द टॉपिक्स यू यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन द एग्जाम आल्सो ओके सो हियर इफ यू रिमेंबर नाउ बिकॉज़ वी हैव सम मोर टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू स्ट्रेस ऑन दिस आल्सो व्हाट इज दिस वन व्हाट इज दिस वन सो आडिनो वायरस क्या कस का एक इंपोर्टेंट चीज आडिनो वायरस को व्हाट इज द आडिनो का शेप क्या है स्पेस व्हीकल दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन स्पेस द आंसर हियर इज कोमोलस कम का ये हो गया स्पेस व्हीकल इफ यू रिमेंबर मैंने क्या बोला था आडिनो वायरस आडिनन का आडिन आई रिमेंबर एडनन गोस्वामी एडनन स्वामी एडनन स्वामी द सिंगर वो सिंगर क्या करता है बच्चे को ना ही हेल्प्स द चिल्ड्रन हु आर व्हाट having conjunctivitis especially kon se swimming pool swimming pool conjunctivitis who is having swimming pool conjunctivitis or they have usually this bachche kya hote hai they have you can remember group of children ka sare symptoms hai rhinitis hai conjunctivitis hai sneezing hai sore throat hai pharyngitis hai डायरिया है ऐसे वाला सारे चीज एक ही डिजीज में आएगा तो दैट इज योर आइडिनो वायरस आइडिनो क्या करता है आइडिनन सिंगर ही हेल्प्स दी स्विमिंग पूल ये सारे कंजेस्ट डिनो वायरस को बच्चों को हेल्प करने के लिए क्या किया था स्पेस में जाके स्पेस वाइकल अपियरेंस क्या बनाया वैक्सीन बनाया वाई वैक्सीन बनाया बिकॉज द वेक्टर विच 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 वायरस इज यूज एज अ वेक्टर फॉर मेकिंग लॉट ऑफ वैक्सीन सारे आजकल कोविड गिव इट सच को विच इज द वेक्टर Adeno. Adeno is the vector for lot of vaccines. Adeno is the vector. ठीक है. So remember, Adnan go. Adnan Swami is the vector for all the vaccine. He goes to space. Space vehicle. Okay. Space vehicle just आता है. It's in my other uh, in YouTube. I put another video on virology. You can see there. All the pictures are given for all the virus which you remember. Okay. Flavivirus. कुछ नहीं. Flavivirus one important. Hepatitis C में C. Chocolate flavor. C chocolate flavor. This is a flavivirus. This is a question they can ask. Okay. C is a flavivirus. C is a flavi. Chocolate flavor. Chocolate flavor. Chocolate flavor. Flavivirus. That's the only question usually they ask. and hpv we spoke already human papilloma virus we spoke okay that's it anything else to discuss and we talked about this thing extensive subitum i think we have uh, almost done everything for virology whatever the topics i have covered it now the next will be parasitology in the other in the next class so it will be only three or four classes maximum all including this and then you will be like your revision will be over okay thank you so much all the best again study well guys catch you soon